Hey everyone, welcome back to Consulting Joe. Today, we're diving into machine learning with Python to build and train multi-output random forest models. We'll be predicting housing data with two specific goals, estimating home price based on certain features and then flipping it around to estimate features like beds and baths based on a home's price and square footage. We'll even look at how to add confidence intervals to these predictions. Let's get started. We'll kick things off by building a model that predicts the number of beds and baths a house might have based on its price and square footage. First, we load our housing data from a CSV file, then clean up the data. For instance, we make sure columns like price are in the correct format by removing any dollar signs and scaling them down to thousands for easier model handling. Once our data is prepped, we'll define which columns are features and which are targets. For this model, the features will be price and square footage, and our targets will be beds and baths. After that, we split the data into training and testing sets. Before training, it's essential to standardize our feature data. Scaling ensures that all input features are on the same level, which is especially important when combining different data types like prices and square footage. Once the data is scaled, we train our multi-output random forest model. This allows us to predict multiple outputs, both beds and baths, from one set of features. After training, we evaluate the model with metrics like mean squared error and R squared score to check how well it performs. Finally, we save the model and the scaler so we can use them later without retraining every time. That's it for model one. Now, let's flip things around. Our next model will predict the home's price based on the number of beds, baths, and square footage. The setup process is similar to model one, we select beds, baths, and square footage as features and the home price as our target. Then, we repeat the steps of splitting, scaling, and training a random forest model. After training, we evaluate the model with mean squared error and R squared score to check its accuracy. Once we're satisfied, we save this model and scaler as well. Now, with both models trained and saved, we're ready to move on to predictions. Now that our models are ready, Let's put them to work by making predictions on new data and adding confidence intervals to those predictions. For the price prediction model, we'll load new data with beds, baths, and square footage information, then make price predictions using our trained model. We also calculate a confidence interval by checking the variation in predictions from each decision tree in the random forest. This variation gives us an idea of how confident we are in each prediction. Next, we use the beds and baths prediction model. We load new data with price and square footage, predict the bed and bath count, and again, calculate confidence intervals for each prediction. This approach provides an estimated range for both beds and baths, adding reliability to our model outputs. By the end, we can display predictions alongside confidence levels, giving users a clearer picture of each prediction's reliability. That's it for today's tutorial. We've covered the entire process from data pre-processing, model training, and saving to making predictions with confidence intervals. This multi-output random forest approach is versatile, and it's a great way to get more insights from your data. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more content, and feel free to visit consultingjoe.com for additional resources. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.